Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, like and subscribe, it'll help me out. Um, and I'm hoping, you know, as I get more comfortable doing these videos, the production I will be a little better and I'll be able to speak. I get a little bit of stage fright talking to the camera. I'll be able to speak better the more I do this, hopefully. Um, but anyways, today I'm just gonna be kind of talking about my order process of the car. Um, you know, the last two years, vehicles have been kind of skyrocketing in price. Um, there's been high demands for most vehicles, trucks, um, Mustangs have been kind of a part of that. And so I did a little bit of research. I've always wanted a Mustang and with the new body style that's coming out, I kind of wanted to jump on the current body style because this is what I wanted. So back in September, I went and special ordered with Ford because I found out the dealership here, I, don't, I mean, dealerships might be different depending on where you're at, but the dealership here, if you special order through them, you know, you put your deposit down and when the car comes in, they don't, they don't add any extra price on top of the MSRP. So you're gonna get MSRP for the car. Um, and I wanted to special order the car because I've always wanted a Mustang and I wanted to pick out exactly what I wanted on it. Um, you know, like if you're gonna, I mean, if you're gonna order a car, it gives you the opportunity to pick the options you want or the options you don't want. And so that's what I did. Um, I ordered the car back in September. This car came in in January, uh, middle of January, I picked it up and I ended up actually paying below MSRP for it. Um, Cause I got lucky enough that it was kind of around the time where they had just released the new body style um, and dealerships are wanting to get rid of this older body style and prepare for the new one. So it was one of those where you special ordered it, hoping to get MSRP and then by the time it came in, dealerships don't want these on the lot because they want to prepare for the new one. Um, I, think, um, I think ordering the vehicle is worth it. Uh, depending on where the used market goes now, um, you know, with the higher interest rates, the uh, the higher interest rates, the prices of cars, used cars are outrageous. It made more sense for me to order a brand new car. You get that lower interest rate, you get it for sticker price. Cause at the time that I ordered this, a used Mustang GT premium is going for around the same price that I bought this new. Um, so, at the time I ordered this, it was more worth it to just buy new because you get that lower interest rate on a newer vehicle. Um, and then, of course, I got to pick the options that I wanted, but we can go ahead and um, talk more about like what I ordered the car with. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll show you what I, what I did with that. So, like I said before, I ordered this car back in September because I wanted to get those lower interest rates and choose everything I wanted on the car. Um, so we can kind of talk about, you know, the options and stuff that I got on the car. We'll start with the outside and then we'll work on the inside. Um, but a must have, in my opinion, if you know, if you don't want to spend over $2,000 on an aftermarket exhaust is I would option for, you know, even if you get the 2024 Mustang, I would option for the active valve exhaust system. It sounds amazing. I have no intentions of replacing that anytime soon. You know, maybe a couple years down the road, get tired of the car and redo everything. Um, Cause right now the car's stock. I wanna keep it stock for a while, at least until I get a daily driver so I can keep this in the garage and turn it into a project car. But um, everything's stock. People ask me all the time if the exhaust is aftermarket because it sounds really good and I'll clip a video of the exhaust and why I got the active valve. I got it to have that quiet mode for the neighbors, plus it's louder than, you know, if you didn't get the active valve. Um, and then next, I optioned for the upgraded wheels, uh, I like the clean look, how they kind of just blend in with this uh, silver. Um, honestly, it was between getting silver and the grabber blue. Uh, you know, I wanted the I wanted the red seats, so in my mind, 
I mean, grabber blue and red seeds, it's kind of a, a bold decision. So uh, I optioned for the iconic silver um, and I absolutely love this color. Um, but we can make our way to the inside. We'll go around to the driver's side. So, I mean, those are the only exterior options. I didn't get the performance package or anything. You know, I'm not gonna be racing this car hard or doing anything like that. You know, I'll take it to the, I took it to the drag strip once, it was fun. Um, I'm not gonna be doing any, any hard circuit racing or anything where I would need that Magna ride or things like that. Um, this is just a, my goal is that this is just gonna be a weekend cruiser until I'm ready to start adding performance to it. Um, Cause right now it's stock. Later, I wanna, you know, maybe upgrade the wheels. I kinda wanna keep it stock on the outside, upgrade the front splitter to the Mach 1 splitter. I wanna get the GT500 exhaust tips. And then I would like to actually roush this. So I wanna get like the roush supercharger, the cooling system. Um, but I don't wanna put any of those like badges on the car, if that makes sense. Like, I don't want anybody to know that this is a Roush Mustang. I want it to look like it's just a normal GT. You pull up to, you pull up on me at a stoplight and boom, you just got Roushed. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and talk about what I optioned for on the inside. So obviously uh, the option that I went for was manual. Um, I wouldn't buy a Mustang that was automatic because if this was a weekend car, you know I'm gonna wanna be involved in the driving um, I want to be engaged. Um, and then I obviously got the, uh, I got the, uh, digital dash. Um, that was a must have for me. I, I required having that digital dash. Um, my phone might connect to the Bluetooth. We'll see. But anyways, digital dash. And then in order to get the red seats, you had to have the digital dash. You have to have the 401A to get the red seats. Um, you can get, I believe you can get tan and black with the 400A package. Um, but like I said, I really wanted the red. The red and the silver goes good together. Um, and I mean, that's really, that's really the options. All right guys, so I actually forgot to add um, on my options for the car. I actually chose not to get the Recaros. I mean, the red Recaros, they look dope, uh, don't get me wrong, but I chose not to get them because for what I do with the car, these, uh, these, these seats hug you enough um, for driving that I didn't need the Recaros and I preferred having the heated and cooled um, settings. Um, but that's it, that's, that's why I didn't choose the Recaros. Um, at the time I ordered the car, they didn't have they didn't have the uh, 12 speaker system available, which was whack because that's what I wanted. So I got the, uh, I believe it's nine speaker. And honestly, it sounds, there's plenty of bass. It sounds good. Uh, if I redid this with the 12 speaker available to order, I would not get, I would not spend the money on it because the sound system is loud enough for me. Um, and I believe, I mean, really that's, the options I got, you know, six speed manual, 5.0, GT premium with red leather, digital dash, active valve exhaust, and upgraded wheels. Um, I bought all this with the intentions of not really doing anything crazy with the uh, look of the car. Um, I really just want to turn it into a sleeper 5.0, you know, later down the road, get that supercharger. Um, and the reason I want to do Roush is because you can keep if a dealership does it, you keep that warranty, um, so you're safe there. And the new Roush system for these uh, 22, 23s is, you know, 750 horsepower versus, uh, I believe it's like the 600, high 600s. Um, so, you know, 750 horsepower, that's plenty for a weekend car. Um, <clears throat> but I'm not gonna do that anytime soon because at the moment, this is my daily driver. Uh, so I don't want to kill those. I don't want to kill the gas mileage before I get a actual daily driver to drive If you guys uh, Enjoyed this video, you know like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments 
what you would like to see me do to this car or what kind of videos you would like to see from this channel. But like and subscribe. See you guys.